Will this filament-based 3D printed action figure work in resin? Let's find out. So a lot of you have asked me, can your action figure STL files be printed in resin? And honestly, I couldn't say, because I hadn't tried it myself for safety reasons. But thanks to JLC3DP, who's now sponsoring the channel, I finally got the chance to find out. Before we dive into that, let me properly introduce these figures. These are the Zip Guy to Zip Tie action figures. They're the same figure design, but this one is an earlier version, and this other is the newer one, with a few minor improvements, mostly on the joints. I printed these figures at 185% scale. The guy on the right was printed in Sunlu PLA plus 2.0 Burley Wood Filament, generously provided by Sunlu, by the way. I really like that it's not too glossy and how tough the filament is. I've been playing with these figures for a while, and so far, this guy on the right is holding up really well. This one on the left, not so much. It looks fine, but it just doesn't cut it for functional parts, especially for these types of joints. I won't be buying this matte PLA again, but I'll definitely be stocking up on more Sunlu. I've still got a few more filaments from them to try, and I can't wait. If you want to check out Sunlu PLA Plus 2.0 or their other products, I've got links down below. But as nice looking and functional as this filament is, resin just takes the cake when it comes to surface quality. That said, picking the right resin for action figures isn't as straightforward as buying a spool of PLA. You have to consider whether it can handle the stress from tightened zip ties and how much it shrinks when curing. Thankfully, our sponsor JLC3DP has taken the guesswork out of the equation. JLC3DP is a leading online 3D printing service specializing in rapid prototyping and low volume production. They use high-end 3D printers to make custom parts from different materials, like plastic, resin, and even metal. You just upload your design, get a quote, and they print and ship it, often within a few days. Super convenient if you need small batches of custom parts without much hassle. Let me show you how it works. Go to jlc3dp.com, upload your STL file, choose your material, resin, plastic, metal, etc. Pick your finish, get an instant quote. That's it. They handle the printing, packing, and shipping. Now, I did mess up a bit during the ordering process. I tried uploading 60 parts at once, even though my contact already warned me that the system can only process 10 models at a time. You can totally order more. If you want to order a batch of more than 10 files, you can save them to your cart, which can hold up to 30 models, and then select all 30 files at once to submit your order. My prints arrived in less than a week. It would have been sooner if the courier hadn't held the package due to a local holiday. The package came wrapped in a blue plastic bag with their logo. Inside was a sealed box packed tightly with bubble wrap, so props for good packaging. Inside, there was a Ziploc bag containing all of my prints, and they look amazing. And get this, I didn't even choose their sanding service, just raw CBY resin straight off the printer. The details are crisp. Tolerances seem all right, but we'll verify that in a bit. And although the parts look delicate, they've actually got some flex. I might do a brake test just to see how tough they are. But first impressions, really solid. I'm not gonna do a detailed assembly video for now. I just wanna see if the resin prints work. So please enjoy this quick build montage. Yikes. Remember when I said I messed up the order? Well, here it is. I accidentally ordered two right lower legs and the elbow peg came out at the wrong scale. So I'll have to improvise.
Hey, whether you're new here or a longtime supporter, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. I hope I can earn your like and subscribe today. Please enjoy the rest of the video. printed these elbow pegs and the left shin in PLA+. They fit surprisingly well with the resin printed components. Man, does that look good. And again, I didn't even get their sanding option. Normally, white resin or paint can obscure the details, but even so, you can still see a lot of them. That is impressive. Now let's be objective. This is the first time I'm testing the figure in resin, so I need to note any problem areas. The most obvious issue is the mid-torso. With the filament printed version, the midsection has enough friction to hold itself up, making it easy to fill gaps when bending. Unfortunately, this one just drops, leaving a big gap under the chest. I might need to add a locking mechanism. Another issue, the head is too loose. I could stick some masking tape on the ball joint for now, but I might just release a tighter version of the neck for resin users. Lastly, the thigh swivel is way too loose. That definitely needs adjusting. Let's go over the articulation. Head swivels left and right, can look down and up this much. Tilts to the side about this far. Shoulders can move up, down, front, back, and all the way around. Shoulders rotate 360 degrees. Tiny snag here. The zip tie head is catching on the shoulder hook. That'll need fixing too. Bicep swivel double elbow, wrist rotation with a bit of resistance. Taking note of that, hands move up and down. Torso can bend this far forward and this far back. Could force it a bit more, but I think more friction will fix that. The pelvis or moves up and down, giving clearance for hip movement. Hips go up this far and can spread apart thanks to the ratchet peg. A little wiggly, but holds its position well. Thigh swivel, fixed with masking tape for now. Double knee, toe articulation. Foot moves up, down, swivel side to side. Can kick his own ass and his own kidneys. Here's a quick wiggle test. Not bad. So as you can see, the new Zip Guy 2 action figure works in both filament and resin. It still needs a bit of refinement before I officially use it as a base for future characters. Designing a figure that works in both FDM and SLA 3D printer materials is not easy. So having this prototyped in industrial grade resin gave me valuable insight. In particular, CBY resin from JLC3DP was very impressive, strong, flexible, and great for snap fit parts. As for how well it takes paint, that'll be a test for another video. Even if JLC3DP weren't sponsoring this video, I'd still recommend their services. They've definitely opened new possibilities for my figures. So if you've got a 3D model but no printer, check them out. Big thanks to JLC3DP for supporting the channel and helping bring these models to life. Links in the description. That did not snap easily. Yeah, this resin is tough.